Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome to my scrapbook room. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough here with you. So I see you going. Okay, you stay. Um, so uh, as you can see, I have got a whole room now to myself. It's pretty exciting. Uh, right now I've got it laid out like this. I still have quite a bit of room. I still have some unpacking to do, as you can see. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty usable. There's a cat trying to be extra cute right now. Say hi. <laughs> All right, so let me take you through. So obviously this is my main workstation right here. I have this unit here, which I got from Amazon. I measured what would fit underneath my desk, ordered some drawers and containers and I have a whole video about how this is organized on my YouTube channel. So just all kinds of different containers, very easy to access what I have. It's organized by theme and type of product, even down to Christmas at the bottom. So I'm really happy with how that's working. Let me show you some other things here. So I've got this mega light here, microphones, uh, just a standard light that I used before I got the really big one. My computer, snacks of course. Right now it's a little bit messier than I would prefer but I'm still working on organizing and finding things. So I have this spinner that I got from scrapbook.com. It works pretty well. I'm going to be getting some sort of ink organizer that I'm going to try to maybe hang on the wall so I can pull the inks out of there. Um, like I said, still some things I'm working on organizing, some new kits that just released. This container I'm going to be using a little bit differently than how I used to before. It used to just store product. Now, I want right now I ha I'm really behind on my scrapbooking, so I have some kits staged here to use. Um, I have some day in the life stuff, some of the newer kits that released. I created a whole pack of stuff for home because we moved. I have my week in the life stuff staged, and then the other side is supplies. So then on this one right here, I've got all kinds of organized containers. This is what used to be in here. So now I've got all my letter stickers and thickers. I um, have travel specific right here. Working on reorganizing that next shelf. But then I've got travel cards, extra cards. This is um, wood and cork and plastic like words. Got inks in here stamps, four by sixes and smaller. This is all my three by fours and one six by eight set. Here I have all my four by six cards and you can look at a video on my YouTube channel, which I'll link here about how I organize. So it's by rainbow and then by theme. These are my themed three by fours, my themed rainbow and some extras. And then down here, I've got my chipboard and stickers and cork pieces and kits and metal things for my uh, cuddle book. So one nice thing about this new room is it's now my little plant villa. So up here, I have my grandmother's angel wing begonia that is just exploded out the side from where it used to sit. So I need to trim all that off, but I wanted to make sure it was healthy after the move. Here I have a cutting from it, um, a spider plant, my Christmas cactus, which is just finished blooming again for the second time, and some other plants over here. So the curtains will be going and I'll be eventually painting, but I have my Sarah Coey art that I bought a couple years ago. And on this bookshelf for now, I have my Allie Edwards books and some inspiration stuff that I have saved there. I'm gonna get new binders. So before I didn't have this shelving system. So right now, it's obviously holding my plants. I've got my recently completed section one of Day in the Life. This is gonna be my Week in the Life album. I have some just stuff stashed here. I've got December Daily Supplies, which is like chipboards and stickers and some paper extras. And then this is a fall basket. Halloween and fall. 
This is uh, December papers and cards and needing to be organized. And during our move, we can't find three of the drawers that went in this unit. So eventually it will stash more craft supplies. For now it's open. And down here I've got my mink accessories, my foil quill accessories, some paints and stencil stuff tucked into the side there. Here I have my vinyls and more mink accessory stuff. And then some paints, some notepads, and then I have a bunch of photos down there that I need to organize a little bit better. So over here to my left is my main workhorse. So the nice thing about everything being right here to my left is I've got my printer here that I can use for minking, my photo printer and extra ink and papers all lined up right here. My most used tools within an arm's reach. So I've got all my extra adhesives, my punches, my punches, um, crocodiles, uh, label makers, cut bug. Down here I have my Tim Holtz stamper, my two cutters, my ruler. I've got washi tape and ribbon in there. Say for sh I've got um, my fuse tool, my embellishing heat tool, Heidi Swap map, uh, mat, sorry, my mink. And then on the bottom is just some extra supplies. Okay, so on the top here, which I still have to finish organizing, is where I keep my 6x8 and 3x8 page protectors in those albums. And I have some pictures and stuff in those boxes I need to frame. Over here, I've got all page protectors in all of these albums, organized by type. I just have notes for like basics here. Um, my new album for 2021, it's an older Becky Higgins one. Here I have some themed supplies, travel, some extra mink pieces, Christmas and archery themed. Here I've got 12 by 12 packs of organized things like cat themed, Harry Potter themed, uh, music themed. This all needs to be better organized. My paper collection organized by color, theme, and brand. And then my silhouette and some extras as well. Is that I can use this for storage. So here are pictures and things and an extra tool and embellishment organizer. On the shelf inside I have my extra albums and page protectors that aren't being used quite yet. Uh, things that I want to sell and then just some general storage and extras. So, and my sewing machines on the other side. So it's just really nice to have some space so it can look nice and clean and organized in here. Uh, I eventually might paint some of the walls, maybe get like a nice rug, um, nice clean carpeting, but just to add some bright colors and make it really fun. Um, I want to invest in some more art pieces just to bring in some color, maybe make my own. We'll see. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're inspired. And I can't wait to really get crafting in my new room. Thanks so much.